it's the first of February, finally. January has felt like it's gone on forever, hasn't it? <laughs> um, I hope you've had a lovely weekend. Uh, since I reopened on Friday, I've had three lovely orders. So I've got um, three pins and a washi tape to send to somebody and another washi tape to someone else. And I've also had one pre-order for my rainbow notebooks, um, which I'm really excited about. Um, it's my rainbow, um, which you've seen before. It features on my pins and on my washi tape. I've also got stickers. Um, and now it's going to be on notebooks, which is, oh, I love, I love a notepad anyway. I'm addicted to stationery. <laughs> but um, I've ordered 50 notebooks and the inside pages, you can choose from line pages or dotty pages. So I've ordered 25 of each um, and they're just going to be absolutely beautiful. So I'm really excited about that. They'll be here in the next couple of weeks um, and pre-orders are already open for that as well in my Etsy shop. So yeah, really exciting. So um, I'd like you to dive on in to me packing up my orders. <laughs> Time to do some foiled stickers so these are for Laura from Hexnex I need to print them 
on my brother printer and then I need to foil them. So come join me. I keep all of my foil pieces, even if I've already used it, because you can use these tiny pieces for, the, for these little projects. And as you can see, all I'm having to do here is just cut up little squares and put them over their hearts, and it's absolutely perfect. So if you do foiling at home, make sure you keep all of the bits, because you can always reuse them for little things. morning happy tuesday hope you're doing all right um i am not up to much today but i did receive a few bits in the post yesterday um, that i actually opened at like 10 p.m last night because i completely forgot to open my post so i wanted to show you um and i'll tag them below i've got these lovely cards these are from amy wrights here's her business card and she actually lives up the road from me she's in dorset as well 
um, and she is extremely talented. She's an amazing hand letterer. So this is for hubby and this is one that she gave to me for free. How lovely is that? Uh, next up, Beach and Moon. Here's business card. Uh, she sent me a lovely lavender pillow because life has been um, a bit tough for me recently and she just wanted to send me a gift. I mean, how adorable is that? I mean, Oh, it smells so good. Um, <laughs> so she suggested that um, before I go to bed, I just place it on my chest so I can smell it before I go to bed. And while I'm reading a book or, uh, I mean, what I'm up to is I, I go on TikTok. I'm terrible. But yeah, how sweet is that? And then finally, I received the Indie Roller News in the post. This is amazing. Sadly, um, it's this is the last one, um, but it's jam-packed full of all things business and beautiful illustrations and it's all brightly coloured and right up my street so um, I am going to be loving this over the next um, few days whilst I get reading it so yeah um, I've done all my orders at the moment I have put an order in um, for my notebooks um, so I'm really excited about those I've put an order in for 50 and half of them have got dotty pages and half of them have got lined pages. So it's really nice to be able to give you like an option to choose what pages you fancy um, because people use them in different ways, don't they? And at least with dotty pages, you can write and draw. I didn't want to go for plain ones because anyone that <laughs> that's said to me that they, they just don't seem to like the plain pages. So... I went with dotty and lined and I'm hoping that that, that will suit everybody. Um, but it has my rainbow on it. I'll just get a sticker. You can see. It, it'll have this rainbow on it. Ta -da! So, But it'll be really big. So the, um, the notepads are A5 and they're wire bound as well. There's 50 pages. So that's 100 pages to write on front, front and back. And it's got like a hard um, cardboard backing as well. So it's nice and sturdy. Um, but yeah, it's got my rainbow on it. So I'm really excited. As you can see, I'm a bit rainbow mad. I even have rainbow earrings on today. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have a lovely Tuesday and um, I'll catch up with you um, hopefully tomorrow. Hey, happy Thursday. Hope you're all doing all right. Um, I had an idea this morning about doing a rainbow box of all of my rainbow items. So um, in the next couple of weeks, I have rainbow notepads, rainbow pencil cases, and also some pencils coming that I've had stamped. So I've got 50 pencils, which are like blue. It says neon, but it's not really neon. Um, that's stamped with calligraphy in rainbow. And then I've got 50 pencils, which are white with a black rubber, which have been stamped with rainbow tastic. So the idea is that any pre-orders of my pencil cases all my notebooks get one free rainbow tastic pencil and then i was like why am i not making a whole box of rainbow goodness so i've now decided to launch a rainbow box which has one pin with the backing of your choice so i've got four backings um 2020 heroes which i'm going to be renaming to pandemic hero um rainbow lover rainbow addict rainbow baby and pride so four options and then you've got um so that's a pin then you've got washi tape obviously a sticker um a pencil case um a notepad and then the, what was the other thing oh a print and a badge i think it's seven items it might be more on a pencil eight items so yeah put put them all into a box and it retails um at nearly 50 pounds so you would get um, all of those bits for £35, including postage. So you're saving a good tenner, if not more, actually. Yeah, I think it's about £45. I lie. Um, so yeah, I thought it'd be really lovely. So once I've got everything together, I'm going to package it all up and um, take them all out on a photo shoot, obviously, uh, and see what you think. Um, I'm really excited. I think it'd be really lovely, especially a nice gift to receive and also to give to yourself. So yeah, I thought that would be lovely. And then I was also thinking about doing a podcast. Now, I like talking, if it's not obvious. But then I was thinking, what on earth do I talk about? <laughs> so if you've got any ideas, please comment below, because I am well up for hearing about it. Um, obviously, one of the things um, that I probably would talk about is um, positivity. Um, I deal with quite a lot of um, body 
issues as such. Um, I'm in 24-7 pain, so dealing with that and then being mummy to two kids and never getting enough sleep because they always wake us up um, and obviously running a business, um, it's quite a lot to deal with. And I'm up for talking about that. And I'm also up for talking about how to stay positive because um, it can be difficult. At the end of the day, not only are we going through a pandemic right now, which is just nuts in itself, but life is just topsy-turvy and life is difficult when um, it's so full on. So, yeah, to stay positive is just, I find it's really important. Um, being grateful for like all the little things, it really makes a big, big difference to me. So, yeah, maybe I can talk about that in the podcast. Oh, unless I've already talked about it enough already. <laughs> um like I said before the other day, um, I haven't got a massive amount of orders at the moment. So I'm just kind of plodding on in the background doing bits and bobs. Nothing major. Um, just keeping myself busy, but also homeschooling my little one um, whilst Freya naps. And life is just very busy. So I haven't got a massive amount to show you right now. But I am working behind the scenes. And something that I tried out the other day was alcohol ink on acrylic blank. Whoop acrylic blanks <laughs> so i got these so what i've done is i've dripped um alcohol ink on the back and then um i've sprayed them with um like a uv protectant spray so it doesn't come off and this one too obviously i like rainbows um but my my friends had um a little boy and he's a he's her rainbow baby and i was thinking of gifting this as a prezi so i was going to pop um his name on the front now i've i'm thinking about doing it in um like a gold vinyl but i'm in the process of testing out engraving on my cameo so the other idea is to do that and then filling in the engrave with um gold ink so that's another idea but yeah, I'm work I am working on bits. Um, the other thing I've got that's going to be coming out is um, personalised key rings as well. Same thing. Maybe it will be um, with vinyl and maybe it will be um, engraved. But I've got um, some resin that I'm going to use with some glitter. It's all going to be it's all going to be fun. I'm just I'm loving the idea. But at the moment, what I want is I'm waiting for a pick scan mat because then you can place the items. You can place the items on the mat and um, you take a photo of it and then you can rearrange it whilst you're in the actual software. So you can make sure that when it actually engraves, it's engraving in the right place, which is absolutely ideal. It's not something that um, I've used before, but I think it could be amazing. I mean, even with like the scraps of vinyl that I've got. So I'm really excited <laughs> about that bit. <laughs> so, yeah, lots of bits going on behind the scenes. But I haven't got any uh, any more packing videos for you yet. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all right. And um, I will sp hopefully speak to you tomorrow. <laughs> so at the weekend, I am moving this entire office upstairs um, into our bedroom. And then our bedroom is coming down here. I'm calling it office. This is my studio. Um, we're swapping them over because we're actually going to be having a lot of work done to the house. We're extending out the back. And then we're putting an extra bedroom downstairs. We were going to put an extra bedroom upstairs, but the prices were just absolutely bonkers. So we've decided to see if we can rearrange downstairs instead. So we're going to put an extra one downstairs and then the girls get equal bedrooms. So this one, um, where you can see the bookcase, that's actually going to be a corridor and the bottom of the stairs. We're flipping the stairs round. So that'll be the bottom of the stairs and there'll be a corridor in here. And then um, this room and the one next door, which is my husband's office, they'll become the girls' bedrooms. And then our bedroom, there'll be a door pretty much over there that will go into our bedroom. It'll go, un oh, whoops, it'll go underneath the stairs. So um, we've decided to move move the rooms around so we can get used to like just sleeping downstairs, which is going to be odd in itself, to be honest, because we've just always slept upstairs. But we thought it'd be a good idea to kind of do it now rather than waiting to when the work starts which will be in kind of like may june time because then at least we can kind of get everything sorted because moving everything in this room is going to be such a mission i have so much stuff i'm actually thinking about like doing a sale of some bits because i'm a hoarder if it's not obvious i keep everything so i think maybe while i'm moving everything up on saturday 
that maybe I should think about getting rid of a few bits as well. Maybe get a box or um, a few boxes of stuff to either give away um, or to sell. But also I, I gave a load of stuff away to the childminder probably a year ago when we moved in. I had a whole box of stuff and I gave it all to her because she does all the crafts for the kids. So I was like, she can have it and enjoy it. Um, obviously, I get some of it back <laughs> because when, when the girls do um, craft stuff, they use the stuff I've given her and they give it back to me. But it's fine because it's just like one or two pieces of paper. It's all good. But yeah, I think I need to get rid of some stuff. And also the room upstairs is a bit smaller as well. It's in the eaves. So there's not as much headspace. So in regards to like putting all of my stuff that's on the wall up there, I don't think I'm going to be able to. I've literally got one wall where stuff can go and it's quite small as well. So yeah, I'm not sure it's, well, it's definitely not going to look like this, that's for sure. But um, yeah, it's good. It's good to move. It's good to have a sort out. So I'm definitely looking forward to doing that. Uh, and I'm going to do a time lapse. So I am going to stick my phone on the windowsill and you can see us moving everything out and putting everything in. I thought you'd quite, quite enjoy that because I love watching stuff like that. So a bit more interesting content <laughs> for this week. Um, but we are meant to be doing it on Saturday. So um, I will try and put the video up over the weekend or on Monday so you can see it. So here is my mess of a studio on Saturday night. As you can see, even the Hoover's still in there and there's boxes absolutely everywhere. We did a lot more work. As you can see, I moved a few more bits about half an hour later. I got that underneath the in the eaves and I uh, moved that desk over as well. So you can see it's not quite so messy. And this was just before I went to bed on Saturday night, about 10 p.m. And this is in the morning. I had a good tidy. As you can see, a lot better. But there's still a lot more work to do. I haven't recorded an ending to this video, so this is going to have to do. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for your support.